Okay, guys, welcome to Until Dawn. I have been waiting for this game for so long. I think it'll be an awesome ride, and um, yeah, let's get to it. Let's see if we can kill all the teenagers. Actually, no. I want, I want to see if I can keep them all alive, actually. Uh, but here we go. so excited. I love horror movies. Absolutely love them. So hopefully this lives up to the 80s, uh, 80s style horror. Campy and cheesy, but scary also. I'm expecting a lot of jump scares. This game looks really nice, too. Been a while since we've had a AAA horror title. weekend. Josh. Here we go. All right, let's see. Yeah, this game looks so nice. See what else we've got. I'm going to be pretty thorough to begin with and see what's going on. Um, I want to get the full, I want you guys to get the full experience as well. So. You look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m., Mike. Ooh. Oh, she's... my God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? But she wasn't that... She was good looking, so I don't see the issue, really. I got your note. I'm glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out. 
and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yep, they got the 80s vibe down. <laughs> Oh, that guy needs to what die. What are you doing here? Selfie stick? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. This all got out Just a stupid prank. Uh, oh, damn. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! Selfie stick. God, I hate selfie sticks. Oh, gosh, guys. Here comes the first decision. Um, I would go... Well, I'd wake my brother. Josh! Josh! Fuck! Well, that didn't do much. Alright, let's see. Guys! There's someone outside! What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Uh oh, quick time event. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Um. There we go. Okay. Um. Fast. Ooh. I think I... Uh, footprints. Definitely footprints, guys. Let's do this. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Hannah! I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love yoga pants. Is this my weakness? Girls, if you're listening, definitely a weakness of guys. But I'm sure you already know that. Alright. Okay. I survived the first jump scare. Alright. Well, I like Beth so far. I don't think she'll survive, though. We gotta do our best, guys, to keep Beth alive. Ooh, what's that? Why would you run into the woods like this? I don't get it. I would never do this. Oh, shit. What the hell was that? Hannah! Hannah! Hello? Hannah! Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so yeah, you dumb. are. Oh, shit. Predator. Oh, 
Oh, not the phone. I really hate Hannah. She's an idiot. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I don't like you, Hannah. You're gone. Oh, you son of- oh my god. Ow. Oh, she died- oh god. Well, that didn't work. I didn't like Hannah, she was an idiot. Before we begin... There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this. As you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. Why am I wearing a glove? That's suspicious. Right. Hmm. That's pretty creepy. That's creepy. That actually reminds me of The Evil Within. That was a good game, too. I like that game. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Feel uneasy, definitely. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? He's so creepy. What I see, I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. No way. No. Oh no? Why not? I'd be lonely. I, there's a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Perhaps this is something we can explore in the future. Hmm? Because I'm afraid we're out of time. <laughs> not for now. Until the next session. And uh, until then, try to surround yourself with friends in a place that makes you feel safe. Here we go.
Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein is in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Well, this is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! That was a cool song. I like that song. Already? Wow. Diligent, considerate, adventurous, and freaking hot. Okay, Sam is going to be like the one I'm going to want to save. She's my girl. So I picked her to be my girlfriend in this game. So we'll do everything we can to uh, keep Sam alive. She's my girlfriend. Hello? Someone there? Wow, what? 
The gates busted. Climb over. What? <laughs> what an introduction for to come over to a buddy's house or cabin. Dropped off at night. Got to climb the gate. Hmm. We're gonna do safe. We got to. That's my girl. That's my girl, Sam. Oh, God. Oh, look, you leave footprints. I like that. That's cool. Hayden Panettiere is so hot. Definitely a hottie. Can we go up here? Nope. Okay. Death, black butterflies. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Guidance totem, guys. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Same. All right. This is a really pretty game. I'll probably be saying that a lot. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. The past is beyond our control. Okay. I would agree with that. Oh, definitely Snoop. Wait. I would Snoop. Aha! Look who it is. He knows it. Chris! Has a crush on Ashley. Okay. But we're... Okay. Methodical protective humorous. Gotcha. You scared me. I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool, well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Oh, so, I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. going to blow your mind. Wait, so we can't go in the door? Oh, I want to go in the door. It's in here. Oh man, look at this. Nice. 
Think we get a visit from America's most wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right, here goes. Wait, what am I supposed to shoot? It's not working. Wait. Oh, I see. I'm an idiot. Oh my god! Wow. I don't think your targets are going anywhere. shoot a bottle that big that close no way I'm not shooting the squirrel no way <laughs> nice shot your ass just got sacked <sighs> hey sharpshooter a ride's coming Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Why would you ever shoot the squirrel? I would never do that. It's so mean. He didn't do anything. I think we made the right decision on that one, bros. said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. After you. A oh, real gentleman. I kind of like him. He's all right. No characters yet that I hate. That's kind of creepy. It's in the cabin. Weird. Finally, you coming? 
Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but... Definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I'm kind of a worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> Wait, you know are what? they? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. That's crazy. But are they brother and sister? I, I guess not. I don't know. Confident, trusting, irreverent. Okay, okay. Jess, let's see if we like you, Jess. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. I like how all these people arrive at night. I don't think I would. Anything over here? No. Holy what the sh hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. I would totally be like, get that back. Get that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally <coughs> keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. Right? I'm getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Mike's ex. I think we're going to hate Emily. I'm just guessing. She looks like a bitch. All right. Intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. All right. 
I don't think it would have been like as pretty. And Matt's a dude that had the selfie stick, so I already don't like this guy. Emily's new boyfriend. He look he kind of looks like a tool. All right, let's see. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Jesus! Oh my. Okay. <laughs> Mike's a douche. All right. Okay. You guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? <laughs> just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys right. gonna make out now? Oh That's my right. god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. Alright, I like Mike. Ya. I like Mike. That was funny. Okay. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. Just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Fine. All right. We'll be the good Bye. guy. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Oh my god, I cannot stand Emily. We're gonna get her killed, guys. I'm gonna try to get her killed. She's a total... Ugh, don't like her at all. She's going for Mike right now. has a crush on Chris. That's right. Okay, so they're going out. All right. She's cute. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Huh. Kiss. Come on. Oh! Holy shit! Oh my god. Hey, that freaked the shit out of me. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare oh you. Oh my god. Well, I didn't mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, wow. Man, wow. I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking Ooh. at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. <gasps> um, shit. Uh, I'm gonna say take a look. Let's do this, guys. Um, sure. Uh, go go ahead. Knock yourself out. Yes. I mean, I would always out cheaters. Son of a bitch. I would want to know. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Matt. I feel good. I feel good about that choice.
I'd want to know if somebody was cheating on me. Like, I would want the person to step up and tell me. Jessica, we've already met her. Okay. Um, we're going to check a phone. Who, who reads? Come on. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Grab Snowball, definitely. We're gonna nail him. I, well, I don't know. When you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh, dear God. This is uh, intense, bros. Oh, son of a bitch. I was not prepared. Where are you hiding, little chicken? Oh! Ah. Oh, hey! Boom! Rambo. Hello, come on. <laughs> hey, Mike. I do not hurt animals. There's no way I'll ever hurt animals. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. No way. I'm not hitting that bird. We're gonna keep him alive, bros. All right. Oh, but we'll get Mike definitely. Boom. And then what? Oh, oh. No more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done city. So did I go down? Oh, you went down, all right. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Oh, snap. All right. All right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. Oh my god. That's kind of to the lodge. That's kind of yeah. gross. <laughs> it's so nice out here though. Mm. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Oh my god. Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Alright, so I think really the only one I don't like is Emily. I, I cannot stand Emily. to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Women, definitely. I'm a guy, I mean, women have to. Okay. Mm, crowds. I would take crowds. Planes don't really bother me. What is. Ooh, this is a good one. I would say drowning. Yeah. Drowning creep is creepy. Um, definitely snakes. Hmm. 
Hmm, knives. Knives. That has to hurt more. I mean, I would think. Than a gun. Plus, a gun's quick. Um, oh, definitely cockroaches. I'd take... I'd take a snake over a cockroach. Oh, I hate bugs. I hope they don't have spider... Ooh. Clowns. Definitely. What is that? Gore? No, gore doesn't... Crows are scary. Neither, really. Um, I would have to say gore, though. Let's make this game bloody, guys. Oh, dear God. Did I startle you? So yeah. sorry. What a dick. Well. Dumping those. Oh, you, well, just pound on the desk, why don't you? Try to speed up. The more you rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay, I agree. Oh, God. Spiders. Hate spiders. Ugh. Ugh. Don't like spiders at all. Um, no, needles don't bother me. What is that? Zombies? No, zombies are dumb. Let's see. I fear dogs. No, I have a dog. Why is there so much gore? I. Uh, it's going to be telling, guys. It's going to be a gory game. Storms? No, I like storms. A lot of gore. This is very interesting. Thank you answering so diligent <laughs> you're welcome spiders clowns an awful <laughs> some combination sounds like a good friday night <laughs> oh god it's friday night too guys right now it's friday night uh, i'm playing oh. this well i'm afraid once again we're out of time but i promise we'll talk again very soon I will definitely be doing multiple playthroughs on this game. So if you want to watch another multiple play, uh, another playthrough of mine after this is over, I will be putting, I'll be playing again, definitely. Don't you guys think this is a little bit? Oh come on, she deserves it. Hannah, what's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch! So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. I like how they do that. That's cool. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? That feels the same to me. Hannah and Beth's brother. Okay, we already knew that. All right. Come on. You grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it was so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, yo, we get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. D I would ask. Got to. I mean, they're buddies, right? Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? 
Like we always used to. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. What I want to know is, is does, would you hold your friends responsible for their deaths? Yeah. Hi, Chris. Um, I'd keep the mood positive. So, how are you doing? Mm, good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Aw, I like them. They're cute. Yeah, I just don't know, like, wouldn't, would you hold your friends responsible for their deaths? Because they played the prank, so I think I'd hold a grudge a little bit. I don't know. Interesting. Like, I could see him being the killer, actually. I don't know. That's just, I'm just gonna, uh, say that out loud right now. I think, I'm gonna say he's the killer right now. But we're gonna finish up here, guys. I'm going to, uh, stop, uh, streaming. And uh, I'll continue uh, pretty soon. All right. Bye.